Alright, we are back and choo choo, we are heading out. We need to set this to full cargo and we're going to fuel and empty cargo and we're going to go ahead and just tell it to go and away we go. And there we go. All right, so now, today, as you uh, pretty well know, we're gonna start setting up our, few, our uh, pumps over here. We'll go ahead and set this up. Since I forgot this part. There we go. I still need to put in all my uh, um, signals, but that part's done. Okay, so I guess first thing we need to do is get the coal off the train. And I just grabbed containers for this. They should be big enough for that. And then that is going to output and go onto a belt, which we're going to do this. And put them together like that. We don't need to do the whole bunch of these because that'll be enough for dealing with that and I have no idea if we're going to be loading the oil on the train or if I'm just going to do oil processing right over here um I haven't decided yet I have decided though that this does need to come out of here, which they do pick up. And same for the wood, so yeah, honestly don't need those, uh, these guys, because the other ones will do the work for you, and actually give you the resources so I definitely don't think I'm going to be using them uh, let's just take this wall instead and come over like that I do need another one there uh, do I got yes there we go all right so let's get our water pump which that one's not big enough we can just put this right here we don't need to go all the way up there and we'll get our boilers which like i said i have no idea which way we need to put these Uh, that's going to be a little annoying. Wait a minute, don't I have... Yeah, give me... That. Alright, and I can make... We're going to start with three of these for the moment, see how that does and if we need more we can make more uh, bring that out we'll set up more if we need them but that should be enough and then we'll disconnect 
this up like this. And then we can bring this back. And do it like this. Just like that. And I can throw a bit of coal in here that I have to get it started. And now once that gets all of these, there we go. Now those will start and start bringing that down. And I'm going to go ahead and light up the other ones just to get them out of my way. All right. So now we got to decide how we want to do piping the steam in here and getting the oil out as well. And I'm thinking we're going to go this way. So we'll have the oil come out the top, the steam go in the bottom. So, start setting. There we go, that gives us our oil. And... We can bring this up. I didn't bring it over for that one. Now, for here, we're going to want to do that because of our oil there. We'll send that up there. And then this one over. We'll come around for both of those. And then this one up. This one over. Okay, that takes care of getting all of them. There's steam. How are we doing on steam? We got more than enough. Alright, so now I just need to get all of these connected. I'm not going to be able to go there. So we're going to go this way. And then we can connect both of them that way. Bring that over here, which will connect to there. Uh, we'll bring this one over, connect it to here. And we can connect that up down to there. That'll get all of that connected. We can bring this one up right there to connect it there. I'm going to go ahead and just throw that tank right there so we can just start filling. And we can bring this one over. Bring this one down. That one can go over to there. And get that one. And we'll just connect this up to go to that one. And now we just have these two. Which I think... We can connect these. Bring it up and over to there. And that'll take care of that. Alright, so we managed that. We got all of our oil here. They're still working on getting our coal out, but let's go ahead and send him back. Let him get some more. And now let's take a look at our oil refinery, which I 
think we'll just do right over here. And it looks like these are going to run off of the heat system. So if I put those there, and I'm sure somebody is already yelling at me that I can use the liquid fuel ones and just fuel them after I get it started off of that and not have to run them off of solid which is a good idea I may have to think about that depending on what we get out of here um, and I'm going to make burners for this so we don't have to send steam up here so there's our oil it's going to give us petroleum gas and residual oil and we can set that to both and now I'm kind of wishing that I had set up the water one there but I'll go ahead and just make another one I'm going to put it here, and so we'll have the water come into these, okay, that'll fill with our water, I do need to go get some more uh, unless I can make, yeah, I can make a few more. <laughs> okay, heat's up already. So depending on how bad it's going to actually do for the heat here. We can bring this up. And... Make a few more of those. And we're going to connect this up. Here. Let's bring this back. We're going to have to put another one here. I am going to have to make one more of those, but I think I might be able to get away with not making with this last set of these. I'm hoping. Ah, we need one more. And that is not going to leave me a pipe to put in the middle. Alright, well that kind of stinks. Go ahead and do this. While I'm standing here. As of now, we're not using this other track yet. But that doesn't mean we're not going to. Because we may put something from the uh, oil refineries there. Alright, so we'll have incoming will be here, which is going to go that way only. And then we're going to have coming down from there to go that way. So that gives them their only way to go through there. 
And then we're going to just put this one here, which will divide up these two sections. Let's go ahead and just have this one take us back for a minute. And we'll set it to manual because we don't want him to take off. So I can go grab a couple more pipes. Now, I did see that we were getting residual. So we need to figure out exactly what that is. And there's our residual oil, which has a fuel value of 100k joules. And we can turn it into solid fuel, which has 12 megajoules for 30 of this. which is good for vehicle acceleration and top speed. So maybe we should use that for our um, trains instead. So let's go ahead and get this set up first. Go. Now we get the oil over here, and then just go in like that, and there we go. We are now making both of those. All right, and so we can set up. Uh, I'm just going to set this one up right there and there's our petroleum gas and then we'll set this one up and we'll put it in the one which I didn't bring another tank but I do have the stuff to do it so let's go ahead and just make one of those real quick on the fly. And it looks like these are keeping up with their heat, but I don't know that this one over here is actually, it's connected to this one. So I think it should be putting heat out there. I don't have any iron left, so I can't make another one. I'm just going to put this up to there, and that'll work for that. Yeah, I don't see this one using fuel at all, so I need to get some iron. You can see it's not turned on either, so it's just kind of providing a bonus. That one says 25% neighbor bonus. That one says zero. So this one's actually getting more. That one's getting less, which is kind of weird. These don't have neighbor bonuses. They don't give a shit. So I do definitely need to connect those up. And we got most of the things we were working on done. I'm going to go ahead and throw this up here. Um, it's just going to take any engine units, steel mechanical and electrical, which we already have. But like I said, I'm going to make us a different place for doing uh, science. So we may do that just a little bit different but we now have our oil stuff when we're ready for it it looks like 
plastics is here, which is going to be our first thing that's really going to need it. We have steel storage tanks we could do. How big are those? Those are 75, which is the three that you use to make it. But I don't think I'm worried about those at the moment. Um, we do have... How big is this thing? Uh, two, two. It doesn't say how much it holds. So I'm not real sure. I'm guessing it's about the same as the other. Um... But yeah, that's our oil processing stuff. So, how do we make this solid fuel? There they are. So we can use 30 of the residuals, or we can use 20 of the petroleum. We're not going to use petroleum. And we don't have any other recipes... Uh, there is distillation towers uh, that we can break this stuff down, but that is down here a little bit after we make plastic. And that's the only other thing we can do with it. Um, I'm guessing we'll be able to break this down. Oh yeah, we've got all kinds of them we can do once we get to distillation towers and stuff um so i can either save it for now or i can turn it into solid fuel don't really think we need it for solid fuel right now um and we're getting equal parts pretty much so i think i'm good with just letting those fill up. And this is almost empty. Let's go ahead and ride the train back. How is our train doing? Oh, excuse me. Oh, we're filling this box up nicely with coal. I did put a couple more of them up here. I think I did nine of them in this row. Uh, it does look like I do need to do this. So we still need to get a lot more of those. Um... You can see we're missing almost all of them from our original ones of iron. We've been going through iron like mad. I also put some extra ones on the copper because we were running low on copper. So we now have two sides of copper going all the way down there. Um, these are the only two irons in that one left. And then we have that whole row there. So we've gone through a lot of that iron patch already. But everything's kind of calmed down now. So we're not using a ton of it now. Our slag is getting full but not enough to worry about all right so we're now up to 212 times i'm gonna go ahead and take this one out let this one finish and then we'll get that one done we do have two more uh nanobot ones we can do uh but i want to start setting up 
making our new science area. Is there anything else? Oh, we do still need to look at the solar power plant. And I think we will do that in the next one and see if we can use the solar power plant to run our oil processing at least the um the pumps we'll set them up over there so then we're not going to need as much coal i'm going to go ahead and hop in this train and go back and set up this uh, heat pipe and then that will be it for today all right so let's go see if we can set this thing up uh, we need one more There we go. Now it's using fuel in both of them. And we have our 25% neighbor bonus for both of them. And our temperature is going back up over here. So that's good. All right, so that's our basic oil processing done. And I'll see you guys next time. And we'll see about setting up a bit of a new science area. Our pollution's not doing too terrible. I still haven't put bullets anywhere. I really need to get that done before we uh, attract the neighbors. But I think that's going to be it for today. And I will see you guys next time. We'll look at making the solar stuff here. Try it out. And then next, after that, we'll work on our new uh, research area where we can expand it later.